what you would do with this. That would be the last thing they ever find of me. This is the story of how we got into this situation. <laughs> do you think it's going to hold you? I don't know. You ready to go in the water? Yeah. This isn't bad. But first, we'll take you back to one month ago, when our dinghy sunk. Good morning! Hello! We're up bright and early because we're going on a dinghy rescuing mission, which is a mission that we hope we didn't have to do, but we're doing it, so... Um, we, so we're in the city for work, as we do, and very, very nicely, we actually got a message from someone saying, hey, your dinghy needs some attention, it's losing air, and the outboard might go under. Thank you so much to everyone who um, tracked us down and let us know. The crazy part is like we've been gone for no more than a week. We must have blown a hole. We must have blown a hole or something, yeah. Uh, which is disappointing, but we at least, we're on a mission to save the outboard and also just make sure that it doesn't end up in the ocean. They've tied it up so um, to give us some more time to get there. And yeah, it's sort of funny, like normally we, we found out last night and normally we would have gone last night, but we couldn't get to the island because we needed to take a ferry. So we're taking the first ferry this morning. Okay, well we made it and we're about to go see the dinghy. Fingers crossed it's not too, too bad, but I don't know. I think it'll be okay. As okay as it'll be, like, yeah. <laughs> I see our gas tank, but I don't see the dinghy. Oh, we got eyes. We got eyes on the dinghy. Oh. Well done. Man. We owe someone a leak time. Yeah, we really do. That is one sad looking dinghy. For reference, the engine is tilted up and it is in the water. I could hear it deflating when you walked in. Like that, right? Yeah, maybe that's the best idea. Because then. I don't think we can get the engine off without it plunking into the water. Push us. The wind is not in our favor right now. Got it? Here we go. Ready? Yeah.
We can't get in it because we can hear it, the air hissing out if we do get in it. <laughs> but it's too heavy to pull or to walk. get there so we can figure something out it's a <laughs> it is a working shirt okay now back for the engine so where are we gonna put the engine that is a lovely question so the sort of funny part now is that we can't actually get back to Blue Moon because obviously the dinghy is the only way we can do that, which is fine. We're gonna we're gonna sort it out pretty quickly. Like we need to get back to the boat, but it's making storage of things like the engine a little bit more difficult because the van can't really put it in the van because, well, that's where we'll be sleeping until we get back to the boat. We're so insanely thankful for the community around here. Without them, it sounds like the engine would have been completely submerged and the dinghy sort of gone bow up. They are saying that yesterday they were putting a bunch of air on it and bailing it out and the engine was getting quite low in the water and we just had no idea. Um, yeah, like we haven't had to put air on it all summer and it stayed nice and tight and so we just weren't, weren't even worried about it. But obviously something caused a leak um, whether it was a bout of really hot weather or something uh, who knows but yeah we're so so thankful even helping us out today and just helping us get the thingy out and organized and yeah able to continue on and yeah we're very very appreciative of everyone around here Bigger than I expected, for sure. <laughs> what you would do with this. Yeah. Let me try it. I thought more air would come out to the So here's the deal. We have purchased a new to us dinghy and it is on its way. But in the meantime, we are recruiting the Condor 2000 to see if we can make our way back to Blue Moon. Now, obviously we do not recommend this. Um, and if we can find a dinghy to borrow, we will probably borrow it. But it's summertime, so we're gonna go for a float. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> the last thing they ever find of me. <laughs> you think it's gonna hold you? I don't know. You ready to go in the water? Yeah.
We made it. Klondike 2000. Condor. Condor 2000 for the win. There she is out there. There she is. Did you tell them how much it cost? Uh, no, it was it was 50% off, so we got that got that bad boy for $13. $13 Canadian. <laughs> $13 Canadian. So, yeah, we probably won't be doing that too many more times, but I'm excited for our float back. I think we really just wanted to see if we could do it. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit stressed out the whole time. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking being in an overloaded $13 piece of vinyl. <laughs> um, no, but we do have a new dinghy on the way and we're super excited to get it. It should be here in a few days. Andrew's actually bringing it over, so mm -hmm. yeah, can't wait to get Baby Blue 2.0. Oh, this thing's spacious for one. I quite like this thing. Oh, I didn't think about single person paddling. <laughs> this is absurd. I am moving. <laughs> member of our Blue Moon team, the dinghy. We don't have a name for her yet, uh, so let us know in the comments if you have any ideas. But yeah, we're super excited. We decided to purchase a new dinghy and it's finally here and it's been weeks since we've been able to get to the boat, so we're gonna take her for a spin. With new dinghy, it means we decided to kit her out a little bit. If you've been watching for a while, you'll know that our old painter was getting a little bit worn and we cannot find this anywhere. And we used to have one of these. It's like a safety kit for um, little zodiacs and stuff. And we couldn't find it anywhere. So we actually think we might've lost it on one of our trips or something. So we also got a carabiner to avoid that. We actually bought a new painter um, a while ago, except it turns out it's not buoyant and I feel like that's like kind of essential for, <laughs> for a bell. There we go. One. Where do you want to put this? Okay, perfect. And yeah, the nice part about those safety kits is it has all the safety equipment you need for a little boat. So we're good to go. I don't even really need to tie it, it just wants to keep coming ashore. Look at this poor old sap. Oh, uh, well, poor girl. 
gonna take it to the dump now. Yeah, but we would have saved the dinghy if we could have, obviously, but we think the heat at some point just melted like all of the seals and at that point it's just better to get a new dinghy it was getting so old anyway and yeah start fresh this new one the best part about this new one too is it's got an inflatable keel which we've been saying for literally the two or three years that we've had this dinghy we wish we had a like a harder bottom mm -hmm. um but this one still also rolls up in the winter when we kind of store it so exciting stuff what is that old floorboard okay ready i'm ready This is going to be our maiden voyage with the new dinghy because Andrew actually brought it out for us. So this is the first time we're seeing it, first time we're blowing it up. They're so stable. It is. Definitely have some figuring out to do. Think about where you want to go. <laughs> it's a pulling, you're doing a pushing motion. Right? You pull. Yeah, but I just don't really think it's... <gasps> This is hilarious. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to right now. I'm not getting any gas. I think it's a gas thing, maybe. We've made it. <laughs> oh, there's three. There she is. Look at that growth. That's unbelievable. That is unreal. That's like two months. Well, that's a wrap. We have a new dinghy, which is so, so exciting. It's, yeah, so much nicer than our other one and actually a little bit bigger, which is really nice too. Um, Cause we do pack lots of stuff back and forth. We are still working on getting the engine started. Um, but it's just because it's been sitting for a while, so we'll get her going. We always do <laughs> and I think probably maybe just new gas or something and Yeah, we're getting there. We're moving into a new season, which is Exciting and crazy summer has gone by so so fast, but thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video